Hey there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Christine Kugler and I'm currently a professional dancer on board Royal Caribbean's Ovation of the Seas. The itinerary for Ovation of the Seas has been porting out of Sydney, Australia and cruising around New Zealand. So I want to show you a few of my favorite things that I've been doing in New Zealand. We're actually about to cross over through Hawaii and onto the United States to go to Alaska. Now that we are on the final leg of the New Zealand itinerary, I wanna bring you guys along on our last New Zealand cruise and show you what I get up to when we're at port. In this video, we will be visiting Dunedin, Christchurch, Wellington, and also I'll show you a bit of the sounds. I do wanna give a little disclaimer because I am so new to this side of the world and I do not know a lot about New Zealand and Australia, but I'm slowly learning and that is what makes me so excited to be here is that I've seen places of the world that I didn't even know existed before I started this contract. I am also on a cruise ship and we only have a few hours off in port, so it's not like I have hours and hours to go explore other places or drive to further away places as much as I would love to do that one day in the future. So in this video I'm going to show you some of the places to visit and things to do when you only have a few hours off in port. Now that I've been getting into the routine of ship life I've been waiting to do some of these activities for our last New Zealand cruise so I think this is going to be the most exciting cruise yet. I also have only been on board for a little bit over two months sailing New Zealand and I was an install for a month of that so I am no New Zealand expert but if you you are then feel free to leave some recommendations for everyone down in the comments I love reading your recommendations I've actually been able to do a lot of things that my subscribers have recommended to me or sent me messages of things to do in some of these ports so if you're more familiar on this side of the world than me feel free to leave comments down below for other people that may be watching this video. Whether you've cruised in the past or you are planning to come cruise in New Zealand, I hope that this video helps you out and helps you find some things to do. Or if you're just interested in this video, I hope that you learn something new about New Zealand because I definitely did not know much at all before I experienced it for myself. Without further ado, let's head to our first port of call, which is Dunedin. Good morning. Good morning. Here, Good morning. Here we are in Dunedin, what? New Zealand. It's the land of the Scots. <laughs> <laughs> We've never actually been to Dunedin, so we're gonna go to Tunnel Beach. I've been wanting to go literally this whole contract. I've seen videos and stuff before we even got to New Zealand, so I'm gonna bring you guys along with these crazy kids, and we're gonna head to Dunedin. Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> Somebody sent me your post already. It's a cute. Oh. <laughs> A wee bit chilly. My hands are kind of freezing. It's really fun and pretty. <laughs> I haven't done anything yet. It's 55 degrees Fahrenheit, 12 degrees Celsius, something around that. We just bought a ticket, a shuttle ticket for $10, and now we're gonna head over to Dunedin from Port Chalmers. Love Port Chalmers. Chalmers is very excited that. about Dunedin. Just arrived to the Octagon in Dunedin. It was like a 15 minute little shuttle ride. And now we're gonna try to find some food before we try to head off to the beach. Do you wanna share the fun fact about Dunedin? Okay, Dunedin is actually Gaelic, which is the old language in Scotland, for Castle on the Hill, which is where the name Edinburgh has come from. And I'm from Edinburgh. So, so basically Dunedin means Edinburgh in Gaelic. We're in Edinburgh! So basically, Edinburgh. Yeah. We're home! Edinburgh. Well, I am.
just made it here to Tunnel Beach. It is so gorgeous. This view is beautiful. But we took about a 15 minute Uber to head over here. It was really quick to find an Uber. And now we're going to walk down this trek and see the pretty beach. I'm gonna go find my friends and we're gonna see the view from the bottom of this walk. The views here are so gorgeous. Let's go. Scotland that looks like this? Um, yeah, actually, a little bit. You could tell me I was in Scotland and I believe it. Yeah. Tunnel Beach has been so beautiful and amazing, and now we're gonna hike back up. Yeah, we are. And then we're gonna go to the steepest road in the world. Yeah, it's like this. Let's go see it. Street in the world. Look at him running. There goes Carrie. Oh, <laughs> Carrie's down. Fifteen degrees. Apparently, it gets to eighteen at the top. <gasps> so. Whoa. We just climbed all the way up from down there. We reached the top.
Good morning, everybody. Ignore the mess in the background, but today we are in Christchurch and. <laughs> Sorry, that's <was> really annoying. <laughs> Eve is cornered Hello. back here. Today we are in Christchurch and we're going to go take the shuttle to get into Christchurch and then go to the food market, go shopping, because these are the last few days of shopping in New in Zealand. The Aussie, Aussie, Aussie shops. We gotta take advantage of that. We'll see you when we get off the ship. Bye. Riverside Market. It was so yummy. Also got a coffee, a little vanilla oat milk latte, and now it's time to shop around. Next cruise is the crossing cruise, which means we're leaving New Zealand and Australia. So I need to do one last Glassons haul because I do absolutely love the shopping here in this side of the world, as you guys can tell if you've seen any of my videos from around here. Today we are in Wellington, New Zealand. As you may already know, I do have another video up from a day that I spent in Wellington with the girls, but it was just a girls day. We got our nails done and did some shopping, but today I'm gonna do one of the main attractions of Wellington, which is going up the cable car and seeing the botanical gardens. Since it is my last Wellington, I have to make the most of it and I haven't done the cable car yet, so I'm gonna bring you guys along to that. We do have to take a shuttle to get into Wellington and it drops you off at like a central area of the city. So we're going to head there and then go head up the cable cars. I have seen the cable car line be so, so, so long, and so we did pre-book our tickets and buy them online. I've heard that this helps you shortcut the line and get there a bit faster. So anyways, let's go head off and spend the day in Wellington.
just went up and down the cable car. It was so fun and so beautiful to like see Wellington from the top of the mountain. It was only a $10 round trip to go up and down the cable car, so that was pretty nice. And now I'm headed to Whitcoles to find Eve. And of course, she's at a bookshop, and then we're gonna get our nails done. One of my favorite things about cruising New Zealand has been sailing through the sounds. Ovation sails through Dusky, Doubtful, and Milford Sound, and they're all just so stunning. I just can't believe that this area of the world existed and I had no idea about it. Though it is technically a sea day when we're sailing through the sounds, the views you're able to see right off the ship are just amazing. They are so stunning. And here's just a few clips I've gathered from all the times that we've sailed through the sounds. This is definitely a highlight of the cruise for many of the guests and one of my favorite things I've loved about New Zealand so far. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me the past few days at these New Zealand ports of call. And if you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click that bell so you're notified every time I make a post. Follow my Instagram so you stay tuned on where I am in the world. We're about to cross through French Polynesia and Hawaii and then head to Canada and Alaska. So I have so many videos planned out and I'm so excited to bring you guys along. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having the very best day and I'll see you in the next video.